Well, welcome everyone. Today we have a new preparation guide for Caesar King for ZZZ 1.2. Now looking behind me, I have updated our Excel for the new character with some very interesting notes about the new items that will be available to farm for her ascensions and also for her talent materials, which is very important we're going to talk about on the first part. I have also prepared lots of notes for us about her core skills and also talents and how this can become amazing with a variety team of different characters from the previous limited banner characters. And we'll be going through those team compositions and look at the potential of Caesar to be a universal carry with those teams. Now I have made some special notes about carrying energy over to Patron Point 2, which we'll also talk about, about efficiency and also farming for additional new disk drives. Yes, there will be new disk drives, there will be new builds, and there will be a new setup for Caesar. So there's a lot we want to cover, and I want to maximize everything you can do in Patch 1.2 to prepare for Caesar. So coming over to our first part of the video. As you guys might have noticed, I have prepared uh, notes and also calculations for each of the new characters that is coming with the in the Zone Zero, and Caesar will be the next new character. And most of the standard things applies, we can level the character to level 50, and because Caesar is going to be a defensive character that scales with impact, leveling her to level 50 is actually okay. You do get a little higher impact at level 60, but the resource required would be much, much higher. And as you guys expected, the resource required is the same as previous. So if you're leveling her with Ascension Materials, or if you're leveling her with the Logbooks and also Experience, I have broken down level 50 and also level 60 for you guys to have a look. And this is also the case for her skills and also ranking for those skills. And you can see this is also broken down into level 7 and also level 12. And by level 12, each of the skills requires a lot more dennies compared to level 7. So one of the biggest things you want to focus on in preparing for Caesar is actually both of her talent core skill materials is required and also obtained at patch 1.2. And I don't think at the moment in the game we can acquire those items in preparation. So what that means is you have to wait for patch 1.2 to gather her talent materials. And it's better for you to gather the rest of the materials that you can gather now to prepare for her and then come over to the talent materials and gather those on the weekly and also on the elite boss fights. Now, similar to all the other setup, I have broken this down to the E rank and also F rank, where E rank is much cheaper to achieve, where F rank is going to be the final rank. You can see that for the E rank, we need about 30 of the purple materials and about 5 of the weekly materials. Just to help you guys a little bit further, I made the calculation to see how much energy and also how many weeks it will take you to get those materials once you have patch 1.2. So by the looks of it, you need about 240 energy ready to get 30 of the purple materials to get her to the E rank. And of course, if you're going for the final F rank, you need around 480 energy and you have to take three weeks to complete this whole setup. Now, keep in mind guys, during this time, you also need energy and resource to farm the new disk drives that will be available for Caesar. We'll talk about her build and also team comps on the second part, because this new disk drive will provide her with tons of more shield and also bonus damage for the whole team, which is going to be insanely powerful. So here I do want to come over to my additional tips and also resource efficiency for you guys. In order to make sure we have the highest energy for the new resource that will be, you know, coming with patch 1.2, I have some special notes for you guys. Now, as you guys know, the maximum energy we can have is 240 that is capped over here. You can, of course, go over the cap by getting 60 from the coffee shop. And for each of the refills, which starts at 50 gems, will provide us with 60 energy refill. So one of the ways I want to prepare for Patch 1.2 is I want to be sitting on 240 plus 60 energy from the coffee shop and maybe one refill before the maintenance of 1.2. So this way when Patch 1.2 starts, I can take advantage of the new energy storage system. So if you guys have seen the live stream or if you haven't, on Patch 1.2 there will be a feature that allows you to accumulate more energy once your energy is capped. Now, it's likely this will not give us 100% efficiency. This might only give us half of the energy because it's capped. But regardless, I can save around 300 to 360 energy for the new content, for the boss materials, and also energy for the disk drives 
once pair trump point to start. And this is how I can save for a lot of energy to get some of the season materials right away once this starts. So here's a little tip for you guys. If you're preparing for Caesar, you can consider this method. Now here, I also want to remind you guys, remember to save your weekly boss three items after patch 1.2 for the week. So this way you start off with a week ahead of the rest. So this way, if you save your boss runs after the patch 1.2, and this will be around a Tuesday or Wednesday, and you just have to wait a few more days for the second rotation of the boss materials for Caesar King. Now coming over to a second part of the video. I'm following the Mobilitics written guide over here and I'll have the link available for you guys if you want to have a detailed read and also this guide will be updated. We know from the patch 1.2 special program that Caesar King is going to be a physical defense character. Now one of the biggest things we want to notice is that she can provide up to 4000 of shield scaling with her base impact. And this can also provide the whole team with additional attack up to 1000. This buff will remain on the characters that is on the field, and this buff can last up to 90 seconds. Now, while Caesar is perfect blocking and also retaliating and using her defensive assist, she can also provide the entire teammate for 25% damage amplification onto the enemies for 30 seconds. So those two kit combined for her core skills is going to be amazing. Now, in order to activate her special abilities, you will have to have at least one character from the same faction or one character that can allow for defensive assist. Just to go in through a little details with defensive assist, any character that is going to be melee can provide a defensive assist. So this means Caesar can run really well with melee characters. And here you can see I have listed a number of the team comps. And for more details, I do recommend coming back to those notes for the variety of team choices and also synergies. Now, right away, we can see Caesar can go well with any of the existing limited banner characters, including Ellen, including Zuan, and also with Jen Do, of course. There can be a variety of team comps, and as long as you have one melee character on the team, she can enable her passive. So you can see the choice of the team comps with Zuan, Qingyi, and also Caesar. And here we have the choice of team come with Ellen, Caesar, and also Sokaku, where Sokaku will be the melee character to enable Caesar. Now, of course, for the latest patch 1.1, Jean, Seth, and also Caesar can work wonderfully well. Now, if you're looking for free to play team comes, we also have a number of you will discuss on the second part of this part. Now, because Caesar can provide a massive shield, bonus damage, and also damage amplification, and she doesn't have to be on the field, I'm sure around this time you know the final and also optimized team for Petro.2 will be with Jendo, Caesar, and also Brynes. Both Caesar and also Brynes are designed to be off-field quick swap characters, while Jen wants to stay on the field. And this makes one of the strongest meta teams with two dodgers from coming from Jen and also additional shield, additional damage with Caesar and also Brynes. So I do think this is going to be the strongest meta team after the release of the final character for 1.2. Now, for those of us that might not have the limited banner characters, we do have a number of team comps using existing standard banner characters. We can go with Necrometer for the melee damage DPS. Caesar will, of course, give us bonus damage. And the car over here can help us group enemies together for additional damage. We could go with Soldier 11, Caesar, and also we can go with Lucy will also become free on patch 1.2. We can of course go with Billy, Caesar, and also Lucy for the standard free-to-play team comps using four-star characters. Now of course we can go with Grace, Lucy, or Piper and Lucy for additional team compositions coming with Caesar. So by the looks of it guys, Caesar is gonna be a universal character that can fit into any team comps. And after this video, I'll be working on the next video to compare the usability and also whether you want to summon or skip for Caesar on the next Builders Characters Reveal video. Now, before we finish the video, for those of you that want to prepare for Caesar, you might want to consider getting the Battle Pass weapon, which can be very good for Caesar. At the same time, the disc drive for Caesar can also be very powerful with the new Petrol Mind 2 disc drives which give her tons of additional shield and also bonus damage for the entire team. So this also comes back that not only are you farming for materials for Caesar with 1.2, you're also farming for the disc drives. 
And of course, guys, this is why the little notes over here wants to help you guys to have more resource and also more energy for patch 1.2. Now, similar to all the videos, if you want to follow the notes, those will be available in the links below. And if you find my videos helpful and you want to see more future videos for the ZZZ and also other games to come, make sure you subscribe to the channel and keep the notification on for the latest content.